This is Richard Fowler. I'm John Kilpatrick with Oklahoma Keto, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. Now the last video that we made was doing just basic, simple leads, except it turns out that actually getting them right isn't so simple. So the lead that we're going to work with today is where he's striking, and I just pivot like this. And I talked about the lead, so I don't want to get into it now. So what we're going to look at today is the basic practice that we like to do with this. Now, of course, from that lead, you can do Kodagaishi, you can do Kaitanagi, you can do all kinds of throws. And we're going to do this particular exercise. And my thing, as you know from watching this channel, is reflex control. Now there are other things in Aikido, but I feel the highest level of Aikido I know is reflex control. So what we want to do then is set as control a series of reflexes. The first one is this leading reflex, and then when if you're running through the woods or something and, and suddenly there's a limb in front of your face, you throw back trying to keep from hitting the limb. Our second reflex we want to control is that reflex. And then the last reflex is the kind of structure break reflex that you use to throw somebody to the rear. So uh, the critical thing for this, when, when we did this movement, we could have passed the ball. Now we're going to, the lead is going to go from his, from my front hand to my back hand. So this would, the front hand, the hand that's toward him, would be the lead hand. And so this goes out in front of him. If it comes at him, he will deal with it like a strike. And I don't want him dealing with it like a strike. I want him to feel like he's running it. I want him to feel like he's doing it, not me. And this is a principle that we use a good bit for certain throws. And it's a principle that people use training horses. This leading we do is what bullfighters do fighting bulls. Uh, all of this stuff is just real primitive basic reflex control. So again, it's very important that I pass the lead from one hand to the other hand. Now, I don't want to keep talking about that. Uh, watch the video over if you don't have that idea. Um, so when I do that, what I do, and this is, it's important that your hands actually go come together like they're passing a ball. And so the, my lead hand is almost always on the bottom. Uh, it could possibly be different for certain attacks. And this other hand is on top. So what's going to happen, um, this would be the same as if he reaches to grab me, see, and I'm taking this just hand change that, you know, probably one of the first things you did in Aikido, somebody grabs your wrist and you do the hand change and take Kodagaishi. So it's the same basic, basic Aikido movement. And so when he comes, I, you quickly throw this hand out. And it's really important to be on time. So as soon as I see his body moving, his hand goes out. And I don't bring the hand back. What I do is pivot my body so that that hand is going slowly. And when I say slowly, it's going at the speed his body moves. I'm not yanking it back. If I yank it back, uh, it doesn't keep his attention like I want it to. And so when I do this, I'm coming here and then this comes up in front of him. And it's like that limb that suddenly appears and he's running into it. It's not running into him. He's running into it. That's very, very important. So, and as this, so this is coming back and my body's moving in and I'm going behind him and throwing. And that's, so this is the second reflex. The reflex 
of him suddenly having something in front of him that he's got to not run into. And then, so, so he attacks. So, um, so that's the technique. I wasn't expecting him to fall, then I overdid it. But, um, so, I did, really to do that throw, you step back and squat. But, um, so, this is coming up, and now I'm going behind him. He's already leaned back, and I just step back and squat, and that gets my structure break, and he falls. Now, like I said when I started, this is a very hard throw. Even on nice, soft mats, this is a throw that people hate practicing if you use force. And of course, you can use force. So I'm going to warn you, when you're using this in real life, don't use a lot, unless somebody's attacking you with a weapon and you're terrified you're going to get killed, don't throw this with force. You're likely to seriously injure or kill your partner. And no matter what happened that provoked that, it's going to create legal hassles, hassles you do not need. So anyway, this is this basic movement. This is one of four basic movements that, that we practice a lot.